Is this enough to power up your next tailgate? Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here and I'm sitting on my tailgate with this, the iLive Electronics ISB408B wireless tailgate speaker. So tailgate for the tailgate. Now let's give it a shot. First off, I'm just going to go ahead and go to FM radio. How about that? It actually works with FM. So here we go. And I would say gets pretty loud. I have to be really careful in this. I'm sorry, I'm going to have very short audio snippets because I don't have the rights to this music and I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube or Facebook. So we're just going to be chill here. So that's FM. Now it actually works with a lot of different input sources. Let's start with this. This is a micro SD, right? Like you'd have for your phone. So I'm going to put it in and see what we get. So it automatically switched to this source and now it's playing that music. That's cool. Now let's try another one. This time we're going to go Bluetooth. So for Bluetooth, I'm actually going to just use my phone and let's see. So I already paired it and that was super easy. So let's pick a song here that will sound good. Let's try this one. I'm going to do better than that. So there's another music source and it's just streaming wirelessly from my phone. Let's go one more here because I want to demonstrate, actually we're going to do two more. So another one is you can do AUX in, so I'm going to just plug that into the AUX in, it automatically identifies it. And now we can actually do Spotify, I'm going to go ahead and put that down just to make this a little easier. So we're going to go here, let's see, this is uh, pretty loud, I have to unlock the phone, if we can get that to work, there we go. That's really mellow, isn't it? Let's see if we can find something a little better. So this is just streaming straight off of Spotify. It is actually one of those old school phones that has an AUX jack. So that's nice. I'm going to pause that. Again, I don't have the rights to any of this music, so I know someone's going to leave in the comments, dude, longer samples. Got you covered. So. For the longer sample, I have something where I do have the rights, and that is on a USB stick. And again, what I'm demonstrating is all the different ways you can actually put music on here. So now, let's listen to this, and I hope you can see it has a bit of a light show. And this is maximum loudness. So, it gets decently loud. Let's go ahead and pause that. So you pause play, and as you can see in this close-up, there's a bunch of buttons and a bunch of controls. It takes a little bit of figuring out exactly how it all interacts. Um, the biggest thing that I found was that it automatically chooses sources based on what kind of input you're giving it, but I wanted to actually choose the source manually. You don't have to do any of that. The only thing you need to do is like if you want to go to radio, so then you just push the source button once, and it should go to radio, hopefully. Let's see, well, maybe twice. So, there's our radio. That doesn't sound very good, so I'm going to turn it off. So, now, let me tell you a little bit about this speaker. I'll pop this back out again. So, this is, number one, really light. It is way lighter than you think. You look at this and you think, oh, this is going to be like five or ten pounds. This is just a couple of pounds. It's really easy, very portable. It looks tough and rugged, but it's not weatherproof, so beware if you have this get wet. It is not going to be happy, particularly since there are inputs right here on the very top surface, so even a light drizzle is going to hit this. Maybe if you cover this, it's a little more rugged, but that's certainly not part of how it's designed. Now, it is a 60-foot Bluetooth range, which is nice, so you can have it in your car and protected, even if the weather turns a little inclement. Has a five and a quarter inch woofer, so you get some pretty nice sound there. The FM radio automatically figures out all the presets when it just scans through when you go into that mode, and then you can just step through presets super easily. As we have demonstrated, it has AUX in, 
it has USB in, it has micro SD support. It also supports actually plugging in a microphone and then it has a separate microphone volume. So if you want to do tailgate karaoke, this thing's got you covered. Now, one of the biggest issues that I have with this though is it does have the light show. So we'll turn it on and we'll get that started. And I know it's daytime, so it's a little hard to see that, but you can't turn the light show off. I don't know why they did that. I don't know why there's not another switch that just says turn off light show, but it's always on all the time. If that's something you can live with, then you've got a good speaker. If that's something that's gonna bother you, you need to know that. Already told you it's not waterproof has a decent battery life, three hours, not massive, but if you get to the game more than three hours ahead, then you can always charge it via the micro USB connection. And it comes with a micro USB cable, but not a wall charger. So a lot of cars actually have USB plugs, including mine. So it's not too hard to find somewhere where you can plug it in and then you could run this for days, man. Probably annoy everyone else in the parking lot, but there you go. So this is actually it's pretty good it's good for what it is you know there's not a big rich powerful sound it gets loud it has bass there's not much in the way of mid-range is what i find so if you're someone who's a real audiophile this might not be your best office speaker obviously it is not designed to be an office speaker but if you're looking for something to rock your next tailgate and you don't know what kind of music you're going to use and you might have friends that show up with music in different sources or different formats this thing can handle pretty much anything you toss at it and that makes it pretty cool so now before i tell you the price let me go ahead and ask if you can click on that subscribe button really appreciate when you subscribe and tell me when you are tailgating whether it's a picnic at the park or whether it's actually at a sports stadium what kind of source do you use for your music or do you just not even listen to music so that'd be a great thing to leave in the comments with that the price so iLive Electronics ISB 408B wireless tailgate speaker uh, will cost you $49.99 at Amazon.com and shop around online. You might find it even cheaper than that. So, you know, for $49, if you're looking for a big, loud outdoor speaker, this might be an interesting choice. And if you're the kind of person that likes disco lights, this has disco lights. So with that, I'm going to go back to my music, which means I'll catch you in my next video.